Hello everyone, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I am Brother Hosanna David. I once again wish you a happy new year, a prosperous new year. It's my prayer that the Lord will bless us, even as we make us pledge for him this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I had a dream which I want to quickly share with us. I had a dream yesterday and it was like the judgment of God started and it's the, the place was, the scene was not heaven, uh, it was earth. Um, and um, it was like a big hall and people were entering a room. If your name is called, you go, if, when it's your turn, your name is called, you go into the room and then have a judgment. So I didn't see what was happening inside. I didn't see the room, but people were going inside and the understanding I had was that judgment was taking place right inside the room. And the, the, the hall became like somewhere like a church. And a man of God was preaching and he was talking about repentance. He was talking about uh, giving your totality to Jesus and surrendering evil powers like witchcraft, spirit, uh, occultism. Uh, he was just preaching and talking to people. And when I looked, I saw at the altar, there was uh, a man I know, he owns a church in Nigeria. He founded the church, rather, in Nigeria. And uh, he has churches uh, almost in many um, many countries in the world. And he was just uh, at the altar, the word the man was, talk, was saying touched him so much. And he kind of put his hand on his face like this and... You could see the expression on his face. He was so touched. And the man of God was talking about total submission to God and becoming faithful, not having any alignment, uh, any connection with the world of with the world of darkness. And having not having any connection with demonic powers. So he himself was convicted in his heart and he placed his hand. So I was kind of saying, okay, this man is going to go for a secret deliverance because he may not want his members to know that he himself is possessed. He would rather meet the man of God secretly the way Nicodemus met Jesus Christ and then uh, he would conduct a secret deliverance for him so that he could repent genuinely. Before I woke up from the dream, I actually woke up. I wasn't crying physically, but I woke up with the mood of crying. The man of God was saying, where are the Joseph of today? Where are the Elijahs of today? Where are the Moses of today? And I heard somebody crying with a very loud voice. Somebody was crying. And me, myself, I raised another cry where I was. I was crying and raising another louder voice, crying. And there was cry in the church. And then I woke up. This is a reminder that the judgment of God will definitely come and it will soon come. Any opportunity you have to repent, please repent. For the, those of you who feel you want to be ashamed, you feel ashamed to confess how uh, much involvement you have with the world of darkness and you don't want to come out of secret kingdoms, please forget about shame. Uh, you can meet a man of God secretly and get delivered. When I mean man of God, I mean after you have confirmed inside of you that this person, you've tested the spirit of the man of God and you have your own confirmation that yes, this is a man of God. You are led by the Holy Spirit. You can then go. If I'm not advised, see you to go to just any man of God because you could even, uh, your situation could even get worse. They could even, if you meet the dangerous one, a false prophet, they could push you inside the more and you will never think about repentance all your life again your soul will be caged more. So please go for deliverance, get yourself delivered. You want to follow Christ, don't build on a faulty foundation. Break the foundation of evil and start a new life in Christ. If there is a spirit in inhabiting you before now, before coming to Christ, just 
Get rid of that spirit before you allow the Holy Spirit to grow inside of you, to, to come inside and begin to grow inside of you. The judgment is coming. It is going to be personal because what I saw, that is what the Bible says. The judgment is going to be personal. And also what I saw, people were going into the room one after the other, one after the other. So please let us keep our garments white. Jesus Christ is going to return. Uh, the rapture will soon take place. And those who are worthy are going to be with the Lord. Thank you and God bless you. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channels, Hosanna E. e. David and Ego Eye Opener. Or visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.